Welcome everyone. Today I want to unbox very very promising 3D printer. This is Alphawise U30 Pro printer. Very quiet, very very well built printer. This printer we sent me by Gearbest, but this is don't, don't mean so I just say good stuff about this printer. I'm going to say how it is. If it's bad, I'm going to say this is bad. If it's good, I'm going to say this is good. So we're going to unbox and just test print. Do some small test print. And what we have in the box. Very, very nice package. All instruction is in English. This is not my first printer and I'm not going to compare with Ender 3 or something. This is absolutely, absolutely another printer. It's more quiet, it's big, touch screen and so on. You get some filament that I very recommend that you buy filament directly when you buy this printer because this is nothing. It's nice. They sent a little bit, but this is, yeah, you cannot use it, you cannot print nothing. It is. You get touch screen, quite big action. Nice, nice one. We have some uh, spool holder, have some small parts. You have all tools you need. USB, micro SD card, more parts, you have hot bed, very very solid bed, it's a glass plate, one side it's a glass plate, in another side it's some kind of plastic sheet, face sheet or something so you can choose self which side you want to use nice I live in Europe, they send me Euro version cable, some Z tights. And here it came the printer. Very, very solid made actually. No plastic parts. I see one printed part. This is filament cooling duct. Seems like it's almost assembled printer. Maybe one hour or half hour. And we will be ready to go. I start to print. I'm using uh, filament, white filament, that it came with this printer. But I'm going to use my own filament. And I'm printing from SD card some uh, G code. Very, very nice uh, screen. You can do some tunings and so on. Very, very cool graphics. You see? And what impressed me, very quiet. It's really quiet printer. I load my own filament. This is Klaus Wilson filament for a local store. I live in Sweden. This is the uh, most cheapest filament on the market. I think it costs 19 euros per kilogram and I printing baby growth 
200 microns. Like I see, I have a little bit problems with the stringing. That is my settings. And I think we need to change filament cooling duct because it's not so good cooling, like you see, at layers. Check it out. It's really, really nice. And remember, directly out of the box. It's nice, nice. 30 minutes and I'm ready to go. No tweaking, nothing. I'm using Kender free settings and retraction. I think it's too much retraction, about three millimeters or three and a half millimeters. That's why I get stringing. Nice screen, very big, very nice graphic. Self printer, very quiet, but I don't like this cooler, so I switch it off directly because it's too loud. I think I'm going to buy a better one because it's completely unacceptable. It's too loud. It's too cheap. So maybe in the future I'm going to change all coolers. Just for now I just remake film and cooling, cooling duct. I think I'm going to found on Thingiverse, it's a lot of stuff here. Cool printer, especially for 3D printing beginners. Very good price, very good price. Very quiet printer, extremely quiet. Very, very solid made. No plastic parts. And it's quite solid. It's nice this inch, nice this red colors. What I don't like, cheap filament cooling duct. I think it's ready printed. Self fans, it's too cheap. They very loud. What you can hear it is just fans. Self printer when it's working, it's really really quiet. That's amazing. Very nice this inch. Very nice. Good job Alphawise. Keeps on. So maybe in the future we're going to see a lot of nice and cool 3D printers. But this one I really really like. It's nothing to compare with Ender 3. It's absolutely different machines. This printer has all sensors. Filament sensor, it's some kind of laser sensor, I think so. Power sensor, power failure sensor, touch screen, very big touch screen, and it's very quiet, very quiet. Actually, you can remove drivers, you can change to your own, your own drivers, but I don't think you need to do this because it's really, really quiet. And it's open source, Marlin. So you can use your own settings. You can tune your printer, printer in your own way. I hope you like this video. Enjoy, subscribe, and more videos coming soon. If I recommend this printer, yes, of course. For this money, I don't think you can buy better printer. Just for now.